Hello, lover. Today is Monday, back to the grind. Um, I just had the biggest fail of my life. I, um, as you guys know, I have been on a hunt for my, um, what do you call it, baby shower invitations. They were supposed to be here last Wednesday. They were mailed Monday. I predicted they would be here Wednesday. All of my guests have pretty much received theirs Wednesday and Thursday. I went Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to the P.O. Box. And not one of those days were they actually there. So today, I was planning on going over there and hopefully they'd be there. If they're not here today, then that means they're lost. I won't lose hope until I see them. But, you know, if they're not here today, then they're lost. But I go all the way down to the parking garage look for my car just to realize I didn't drive today my boyfriend and I um, share one car since I'm the only one who leaves for like work all day I take the car and on days that he um, has something to do he'll drop me off um, basically and then I will basically get dropped off and picked up so basically I had intentions of on my morning break going over to the P.O. box to look for my invitations and then coming back and then on my lunch break I intended to run out to see about finding a better dress for the baby shower I have a dress that I found that my boyfriend likes and I like it too but I don't love it so I was gonna go I have the dress in the car and I was gonna go and just look around a little bit to see if I can find something that's better. And if I don't, the dress is still beautiful that I have, so all is not lost, but I just don't feel like amazing in the dress. Okay, so I put my hair back in this morning or last night. I was up, baby decided to rest all day and play all night I guess party all night so I was going to um, wait until like Friday to reinstall my unit but the baby was kicking and I had energy so I did my nails which you probably can't see but they're like a taupe color and I did my toes the same color just to get me through the week and of course there will be a different color either white or um the baby shower is like that tiffany blue so nine times out of ten i'll go with white but if i don't go with white then it'll either be french tip or tiffany blue i haven't decided yet but um i was looking real 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 ragged and ratchet last week so i decided to make myself look better this week although today was still a fail because i washed this unit that i'm currently wearing um, yesterday and I deep conditioned it and then I hung it to air dry and while it air dried I was just intending to have it dry um, and then I was gonna go and blow dry it and then one day this week go in and do a hard press on it so that when it comes um, Friday I could reinstall it and then Saturday morning I could do some cute curls or something to it but since I had a change of plans, I installed it last night and then I just literally just put it in. Um, it was like 90% dry, so it was like barely a little bit damp. And so what I did was I just installed it and let it air dry the rest of the night. Hence the extreme frizziness and it has like no um, conditioner, no product or anything in it so it's like that first day wash where it's like super fly away it's super soft actually but um, it's just not that cute and then I did my makeup in the car I'm gonna have to do a what's what makeup is in my car video because most of my makeup that I use on an everyday basis I did the what's in my makeup bag video this is what I carry around for like my foundation my highlighter my contour my bronzer all that stuff I put on in the car so all of that 
is in like the the side um little the door you know how there's like a little bucket thing in there it's literally filled with makeup my everyday blush all that stuff is in there so one day i'll show you guys what a mess that is and i think that will be smart to just grab a makeup bag and put it all in and then stash it like under the seat or in the center console but in a few weeks i won't be working anymore so i only do my makeup in the car when i'm coming to work just because i'm not waking up earlier to do it so it's easiest to just do it while in traffic but since i won't be working come seven weeks from now i just decided it would be a waste of ten dollars Which I never really thought I would be saying. Like, I've always had the freedom to buy what I want. Granted, I'm very reasonable and I'm not the type. I'm not. I'm not an outrageous person. Like, I act my wage for the most part. So, a ten twenty dollar makeup bag is reasonable. But right now, with the baby on the way, um, we're hopeful that we'll get like a good amount of the stuff that we need for the baby shower. Um, or for the baby at the baby shower. I'm grateful because my godmother told me the other day she bought the crib, which I did not expect because she actually, um, what do you call it, threw my entire baby shower and she actually paid for the whole thing. Only thing I had to pay for was the location, which is nothing compared to, you know, all the decorations, invitation, mailing those invitations. I'm just so blessed and I'm so grateful to her that she was there to help out because if, honestly if it wasn't for her i wouldn't be having a baby shower because the money that i would spend on a baby shower especially in these hard times i would have just spent on the baby so i'm so grateful to her because she's absolutely a godsend but um as i was saying she also decided to go ahead and buy the crib, which <laughs> I did not expect. So, and then my job is supposed to throw me a baby shower. And usually when we have people who have babies here, um, they usually give them a car seat for the baby shower. So I'm pretty much sure I'll get the car seat from my job. Um, which I intend to exchange for whatever I want because nine times out of ten they won't give me what I want. And then what else? So only other big item really would be I need the pack and play because the pack and play will go beside my bed for him to sleep in in the first few months. And I need the stroller. And then other than that, of course, like clothes, which I know that we probably will get a nice amount of clothes and stuff like that. Um, my godmother already bought him a ton of clothes for Christmas um, a few months back. So, I don't know. We're blessed with whatever we get. And then whatever we don't get, we'll figure out ourselves. I am so grateful, so thankful for what we have. Because I know in my last vlog, I was a little bit emo. That was, I think, last Friday that I recorded that video. And I started not to actually um, put that in there. The original vlog for Friday, which was vlog 14, I didn't put it in there because... Like, I'm that type of person I hate when I see people, like, on Instagram, like, crying and holding the camera like you're crying. And you're holding the phone and taking a picture of yourself like crying but you know with this vlog I do really want to be candid with you guys and share my life you know right now it's not it's definitely not where I want it to be or where it should be and you know you go through things for a reason so I can't beat myself up or I can't beat anyone else up for where life has me right now but I know that I pray every day. I know that I'm blessed and I'm fortunate regardless of what the circumstances are. And there's so much opportunity 
out here to find my way out of the struggle so I know not the only one struggling so we will see what happens and that's kind of the reason that I want to vlog too is I want to just record my journey like I've seen people record their um their journeys of life financial like there's some p vloggers or or YouTube um, content creators that they actually record their um, journey to financial freedom I was thinking not necessarily to go hardcore and record as they do but to start watching those channels and learning a thing or two and start writing down you know what we spend what we make and really 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 going hard on a budget because there's got to be a way and then like I said I want to get back healthy um, and do fitness I want to I'm in the process of like transitioning careers I guess you could say and I think that this baby is a push that I need like I'm only guaranteed six weeks maternity leave after the baby is born and there's no way in the world that after six weeks I'm gonna leave my baby for 11 12 hours a day I leave home at 7 in the morning and I don't get back home until 7 at night there's absolutely no way in the world that I bonded with this baby for eight months which would be nine months then I'll have six months with him and then or six weeks with him and then I'll just leave him like that there's no way like I'll struggle before I put myself and my baby through that this like and the thing about it is I feel like when you do that like when you go back to a job that doesn't pay you enough you don't I don't get medical benefits here I don't get anything here no benefit and then they are struggling you know these offices that are empty they're talking about renting them out now to make extra money but they're going under so I don't wanna 12 hours away from my baby is not worth the little bit of money that I make here it's not worth the time and the effort and the energy and I'd rather just start from the bottom wing it figure it out and find what I love and find what I'm passionate about because I envy those mothers that are able to have a career and make some money I definitely never ever want to stop um, growing financially emotionally you know you still I still want to be um, a woman who makes money and has a career but this isn't a career and I've been here for nine years and at some point or another you have to let go of that crutch because this place has been a crutch for me because it's been here to pay the bills for so many years so I'm rambling but I think you guys get my drift that this is gonna be a tough experience and then living in LA where it's so expensive and it's like we don't want to move to the hood to save money, but we don't, can't afford, you know, I don't know. It's just a lot. So we're talking about relocating. We're definitely relocating outside of Los Angeles um, County, but we are talking about as soon as the baby is born, moving somewhere where it's a little bit cheaper because with me being out of work for a few months, even though I have some projects that I'm working on, hopefully to um, supplement this income, that takes time. So um, the burden lies on my boyfriend to make sure the car note is paid, the car insurance is paid, the things that I pay, he has to pay. And so if we re relocate, for example, where we lived when we first moved in together, the rent there was almost three grand for a two bedroom. That's ridiculous. And no one in LA can really realistically afford that. Um, so if we move somewhere else, another state where we can have exactly what we had in that two bedroom for $1,500 or whatever, and it's still the same quality of um, a place, why wouldn't we? Um, I'm not too fond of moving outside of LA or California because this is home for me and I've never even thought about it but for my baby I will do whatever it takes and I don't think it would be a permanent move unless we just happen to love it but I don't want to give up our quality 
of life and end up like in the hood welfare section i mean you know i don't want to go through that and i don't want my son to be exposed to that um all that much so the sacrifice and the goal right now is baby's born mid-may june we're giving the deuces to la which i don't know how we're gonna relocate but we are anyways i rambled to you guys for 13 minutes you guys watched me beat my eyebrows which i could have blended i hate when it's too square up top but um blend that out a little bit as you guys can see day to day i don't do concealer but i just feel like i look so much cuter when i have brows on than when i don't because you've seen what i look like with them on anyways i don't think i showed you guys baby d he's alive and kicking and keeping mommy happy and every time i feel his kicks he reminds me that life is grand anyways i'm about to go back to my desk um i don't know i'm gonna wait till after work to see if those invitations came so i think that today i'll take a walk because as i get closer to my due date i do want to start walking and drinking and making sure that i get all of my fluids in every day and making sure that i'm getting my walking in because I think that's the most constant advice that I get. Um, like literally, like men, like Friday when I was taking a walk, I ran into a, a guy who works in this building. He's like, make sure you're walking. Get the big walk there, baby. Everybody's telling me that. So I know it's true that you have to walk, especially with this being my first pregnancy, making sure that it's not um, a long and complicated one. They say walking is the best solution or preparation and fluids so making sure that like I'm drinking a lot of cranberry juice that's what I'm addicted to right now and then in addition to that making sure I'm still getting my water as well so that not only does baby and I have fluid and we're not dehydrated but also making sure that um, for some reason people say that that will help with labor anyways 15 minutes is far too long to talk so I'll talk to you guys later I love you